Good morning, Bev. It's so good to be with you guys this morning. I think that, you know, David just said hazy days of summer and I'm gonna be honest with you, I woke up this morning kind of feeling that haze. That, and I guess metaphorically, but just, you ever wake up in those mornings like you feel like your mind is kind of foggy that you you maybe like your, your mind thinks and your body takes too long to respond, that you don't have words to say what you think you need to say. You, you kind of have this feeling, and I have this feeling today of like, ooh, am I, am I off? I'm not on my A game, like. And then, it's weird. It's as if God knows us and knows what we're going through, and even the way that He reshapes our weaknesses, our pain, our suffering. That ultimately, when we say that God is an upside down God, it's not just that He's flipping the power on its head; that He's flipping our traditional views of success on their head. It's also that. God uses all things, all things, including our pain, our weaknesses, our struggles, to produce and conform more of us into the image of his son. And so this morning I'm reading, and I just get struck by this quote that we're called to love others regardless of whether they're worthy or not. And simultaneously reading that we're to love others as we love ourselves. And I found myself thinking like, why do I have this propensity to think that I need to be worthy of love? in order to receive love. Do you know what I mean? It's like, as if my kids got up today and I said, hey, once you get all your chores done, once you read a book, and once you compliment me five times, then I'll love you. Like, what kind of family works like that, right? But yet, that's how I approach life, and that's how I approach God, and that's how I approach others. Because we have a tendency, when we look at the way that we interact with others, it's most often the way that we treat ourselves. And so, why am I expecting so much from you? Why do I need so much from you? Why do I hesitate to give you love? Why do I distrust you? I think it's ultimately because I distrust myself. I hesitate to love myself. I hesitate to, to be able to accept my weaknesses, my struggles. But yet, in doing so, I deny the grace of God who says, it's in your weakness that you find that my grace is sufficient. The first Corinthians, which we're going to dive into this weekend, says that Jesus Christ is who sustains it to sustains us to the end. Not our Bible reading plan, not the system I've set up, not the ways that I protect myself and seclude myself. And, and so today, I just kind of want to press into not figuring out exactly why I do what I do, but rather, what am I afraid of? What am I holding back? What is this weakness that I'm denying? Because... The Battle Belongs to You is a song that Lauren introduced to me and I've been listening to by Phil Wickham and it just talks about bringing our weaknesses to God. And it's funny because he already knows them. Like he knows all of you. Like do you like that's the thing that's unbelievable. It's the difference between watching a wedding which I absolutely love going to a wedding. I absolutely love hearing these vows, but you got two 22-year-olds that have no idea what they're really committing to as opposed to going to a vow renewal where their vows are based on, yeah, we've hurt each other. Yeah, I've seen the worst of you. Yeah, I've, like, I've seen you get ugly and I've seen you yell and I've seen you fall apart and I've seen you <coughs> make bad decisions and I've seen you do, but I'm still with you. But that's what covenant means, that God's love for us is in many ways despite us. <coughs> Excuse me. And that our love for one another is, despite our weaknesses, despite those things that we think divide us from one another, but it's actually through them that we find true love. Because Jesus says, is it really love if it's just for our friends and those who look like us and act like us? And so yesterday I made a statement, and we're going to dive into it even a little bit more this weekend and over the coming weeks, of crossing enemies off our list. Not because we've eliminated them or because we have just... Um, decide to act like they don't exist, but because we've made them into friends. Because most often what's made them an enemy is not our differences, but it's that they've exposed my weakness, that I have some fear of them, that I'm, but yet Jesus just presses in and asks, what's your story? Because behind every pain, behind every scar, behind every weakness, there's a story. There's a show on Netflix I encourage you to watch and check out called The Blue Miracle and so uh, there's a scene that takes place on this boat where these orphans are talking about their scars. And as you listen to the scars and what they've been through, 
you begin to realize there's so much more than meets the eye. And friend, as you look in the mirror today, there's so much more than meets the eye. And so be as gracious with yourself as Jesus is with you. God, thank you so much for hazy days. For days that remind me that I'm loved not because I'm at my best, but because I'm yours. Because you created me. Because you see me. Because you know me. Because you sustain me. Because you form me and are forming me. God, help me to let go of the false self that denies my weaknesses, that covers them up, that operates from a place of shame and hiding. Help me to be vulnerable, open, authentic, transparent, and find freedom, find grace, and walk in your love. Help me to love others in that same way, a way that points them to your son, Jesus. Help me to be quick to repent. Help me to see with clear eyes. Help my heart to fully experience life, both pain and pleasure. God, thank you for our church. Thank you for our family. Thank you for those that right now are mourning deaths of loved ones or mourning the continued presence of COVID or mourning the situation they're going back into with their job or their social life. They're mourning family division and family contempt. And Father, for those today that are rejoicing over a new job, over a new school year, over a new opportunity, God, we're all walking through life in different seasons and at different times. Help us to be reminded that we're in it together. That you've united us as your body. And so, God, we love you. We thank you for loving us. And it's in your son's name I pray. Amen. Love you guys. I'm praying for you. Pray for me. Terrific Tuesday. Woo!